The waters still sparkle here on the Tana, Kenya's longest river. It's a thousand kilometers long and provides the basis of life for animals and humans alike. But some spots along the Tana have dried up, leaving just rocks and sand. The operator of a hydroelectric power plant has diverted several kilometers of the river to a nearby dam through an underground tunnel. Mariana Pius walks two hours every day to fetch drinking water for herself and her family of ten. She is outraged. Water used to flow along here, but then the first dam was built and it was reduced to a trickle. And after the second dam was built, it disappeared altogether. Lydia Olaka is here for the first time. The scientist works for the University of Nairobi's Wise Up project. The goal of the project is to diffuse the conflict between the different groups who use the water. Her data is meant to help find sensible ways of using the little water available. Water is life. There are two issues of just the quantity of water, so either a lot or too little, and then the other thing is the quality issues, that we have either water that is of very poor quality and water that is of good quality. And where there is no water, conflicts are escalating. In recent years, further down the river, fights over grazing land and water have even resulted in death. Some residents believe climate change is the main culprit. Others blame the dams. Nearly half of Kenya's electricity is produced here, making the dams crucial for the country's industrial development. To understand the river, Olaka travels to one of its tributaries. The interests of the locals here are different from what she's seen before. The people don't want to use the river for industrial purposes, but to preserve nature. This one? This is the... So this is one of the best. This one of the best. Also gives uh, no, no soil erosion because okay. of the loots. Over the past few years, they've been planting forests along the river. It's a long-term project supported by the government. Shade from the trees should help prevent evaporation of the river water. Five, ten years to, from now, this river had completed right. Completely, there was no flow at all. But you can see the water is now flowing. The locals share their knowledge and experience with the scientists. They're glad to talk about the project because the forestation benefits everyone along the river. This is the dream. <laughs> to have it clean, clear, like what we have seen here. That's something Mariana Pios can only dream about. She doesn't benefit from the hydroelectric power plant. She doesn't have electricity. She doesn't care about that. She just wants clean water to get through the day.